What exactly is affiliate marketing? Affiliate marketing, network marketing, aka performance marketing is a fantastic method to generate money, but it isn't always as simple as it seems. Too many affiliate marketers need guidance to avoid errors that cost them time, money, and may even permanently harm their reputations. Fortunately, once you've recognized these your own mistakes, they're simple to rectify so you don't do them in your own affiliate marketing efforts. If you've been wondering why your affiliate marketing campaigns aren't as productive as you'd anticipated, it's possible that you're doing one or more of these major mistakes, which may significantly hinder your efforts. In this post, I will provide ideas to improve your understanding of the most significant factors that may transform your outlook on affiliate marketing. You will also learn how to avoid common mistakes. Number 1. Never concentrate on selling. It is broadly acknowledged that the primary aim of affiliate marketing, at least for the marketers themselves, is to generate sales. Let us acknowledge this reality. However, you should never focus solely on selling. Instead, your primary goal should be to assist others. You should be focused on assisting your market in some manner, no matter what your market is since this is how you bring value to your affiliate offers and get the audience in that market to trust you and want to buy from you. It doesn't matter what market you're in, your main aim is to serve others. Period. What if your specialty is kitchenware? You are assisting folks in obtaining useful cooking equipment. What if your specialty is internet marketing? You are assisting people in earning money online and achieving financial independence. What if your specialty is hair fall solution? You're assisting folks in regaining their hair. Always focus on helping your targeted audience. Number 2. Trial and testing. These are the two things that everyone appears to know they should do, but nearly no one really does. So, why is testing so necessary in the first place? Let's suppose you have a conversion rate of 5.5%. You could think it's not that awful. After all, you have a lot of competition and aren't really standing out in your market. But what if a small adjustment, such as adding a single element or a plugin to improve web page performance or changing the primary image on your website's main page, might increase conversion by 10%. A 5.5% increase doesn't seem like a big deal until you consider that it increases the conversion rate, clients, and money. With only one modification. Isn't it worth it? The idea is that unless you test, you'll never know what may make a difference. Number 3. Stick with MMO programs, make money online is one of the most financially rewarding sectors available, but focusing only on that industry is a mistake. Did you know that even the most well-known internet marketing gurus have expanded into other markets? This is due to the fact that any specialty, no matter how profitable, has a maximum income ceiling that you may attain. You may eventually cover nearly the whole market, but your income may suffer as a result of having nothing new to sell to them and no way to give fresh value. Of course, this is an extreme case. The fact is that no market has an absolute cap since new customers are always entering. However, if you diversify, if you expand into new areas, you will always have new items to advertise. You'll always have something new to offer. You will always be able to generate money since you are not limited to a single market. I know it's tempting to start with the make money online niche since it can be incredibly profitable and you're learning a lot about it, but until you can help someone in that niche because you're an expert yourself, you're better off attempting a niche where you have more to offer. Number 4. You should concentrate on one or two major niches at a time, and then diversify once you've achieved significant progress in those areas. If you can't afford to pay someone to manage numerous blogs, multiple products, multiple email lists, multiple social media sites, and many accounts in the start, you're doing yourself a big disservice. Choosing two or three markets initially, and only diversity further once you've really made some real headway into those first niches. Once you have some decent traffic, a small mailing list that's growing, some social media presence that's making a difference that you can think about trying out new niches. You can only make a real difference in any one niche if you aren't putting enough effort into one to make any headway. Number 5. Only participate in credible affiliate programs, trust me, as long as you stick to reputable affiliate programs with well-known brands, you'll nearly always get good returns. There's a reason their affiliate programs are so well-liked. Choose two or three beginning niches and then discover three to four affiliate products for each. 
Make sure to pick at least one incredibly hot product at each affiliate program that appears to convert well in your niche, and then continue to marketing that product for at a time before trying something else. If you sign up for too many affiliate programs at once, you'll discover that it takes a long time to meet the minimum payments needed by each affiliate program because you'll be making $10 here, $5 there, and $40 someplace else. It's not a good plan. It is more preferable to sell three distinct items through a single affiliate network than to sell 50 products through 35 separate affiliate programs. Not only that, but if you participate in too many programs, you are more likely to forget the regulations of each affiliate network and wind up getting banned since there are simply too many to keep track of. The following are some of the finest or most popular affiliate programs. Rakuten Advertising Fiverr Affiliate Health Traders Avon, Link, Flex Offers, eBay Partner Network, I Do Affiliates, Share a Sale, Click, Bank, Awin Affiliate Window. Check these programs to discover whether items are suitable for your market and then stay for some time with them. These few programs you may never have to go beyond. Number 6. Follow the results always you will soon be wondering which of the marketing efforts you have most fruitful if you begin to notice a good amount of sales. Of course, you want to concentrate more on the strategies that make you the most money. But what if you don't know which areas you should focus on because you don't know which approaches work? Simply tracking helps you know where and where your traffic comes from. Simple tracking is as simple as using a tracking code through your affiliate program. For example, you can create a unique tracking ID for each website you own on Rakuten Advertising. Or if you promote products through Share a Sale, you can add a custom code word to your affiliate links to allow you to find out where every sale you refer came from. You could also go into much more detail by using your own affiliate tracking script that will allow you much more detailed information about your clicks and sales. This is advanced stuff, so you might not need it right away. But you definitely tracking in place so you can figure out which of your methods is working best. Number 7. Never give up too quickly, the internet is littered with blogs that have only one or two posts, and affiliate accounts that never send the first referral. What are some common reasons for giving up? Not made a single buck in 3 to 4 months. Getting traffic is not easy. Acceptance with affiliate programs due to lack of assets like, blogs, social media platforms, too much work and quick way out. Some think affiliate marketing is a scam. The one thing that most of these things have in common is that they all want things to happen overnight. Affiliate marketing is not a scam just because you did not make $5,000 or even $1,000 in your first month. You cannot expect a brand new domain with no backlinks to generate 100,000 page views per month straight immediately. These tasks require time to complete. You'll never know what may have been if you give up too soon. You never know, you may be the next internet millionaire, but you won't know if you give up before it transpires. Number 8. Don't fear competition, due to fear of competitors many individuals attempt to stick to the low-hanging fruit because they've been advised that's what learners should do. Or they do it because they are afraid of not being able to compete with the millions of other websites out there. You have the ability to compete in any niche. I've met total newcomers who were able to break into really difficult niches like MMO and weight loss immediately. Is it possible? Definitely. I don't advise that new affiliate marketers tackle these really challenging issues right immediately, but you also don't have to choose little, unknown niches that won't make you any money. If there isn't much competition, it's because there isn't a lot of money to go around. Believe me when I tell you that there are no more undiscovered or underdeveloped niches. There was a time when there was, but that ship has long since sailed. It's already earning money for someone if it's going to make money. Probably a large number of individuals. Don't be afraid of competition, instead, be cautious of it. We want competition, believe me. Too much competition is difficult to overcome, so select niches with moderate competitiveness as that is where the money is. Number 9. Learn as you go, and never underestimate the competition. While it is vital not to be afraid of competition, it is equally important to be prudent. Expecting to make a fortune quickly in a highly competitive sector such as weight reduction is a guaranteed formula for failure. What you need to do at first is target niches that maintain a healthy level of competitiveness. Don't have so much competition that getting traffic is tough. You have a particular passion or knowledge. 
If you have little passion or understanding of a niche, it will be more difficult to generate content, identify with your target market, offer items you know little to nothing about, and drive traffic. Is it necessary to be an expert to dominate a market? Certainly not. In fact, you might probably do well in a specialty that you know nothing of, simply by learning on the job. However, if you have no interest in the subject, it will be much, much simpler to quit up. You'll just grow bored because your workday becomes so monotonous that you'll throw up your hands in despair and turn on the television or go to the lake. So, how do you go about picking your first several niches? Make a list of some topics you have an interest in. I'd say 20 to 30 topics would be enough to get started. Now check to make sure there are Affiliate items to advertise, a good level of competition, resources to learn from Traffic sources you can take advantage of as far as competition, you want to look for niches that have at least 40,000 existing websites. Even a few million isn't a big deal. If you use Google and type this in search, I'll entitle, plus anything you want to search. The results will be only a relevant few pages. Try it. Take away. Affiliate marketing is not for the faint-hearted or for people who give up too soon or go about without thinking from one bright new thing to another. In truth, it takes a lot of work to create resources like traffic in blogs and email lists. There are no shortcuts if you don't have the money to invest to produce content, buy current traffic websites, or pay for email subscriptions or social network followers. Although you go through the dangerous field of affiliate marketing, always remember these potential mistakes. Make sure you don't make such mistakes and don't become too comfy after you have money. If you work hard, endure and prevent mistakes, you will certainly begin to generate money. But you will certainly fail if you give up.